thank you for your time. Uh, so please take a seat. There are some empty, so you must not stand. Um, it's a pleasure for me to speak first time on the Chilventa uh, and to speak about a topic which is important for, for, for me and us as a company. So first, I'm Andreas. So I'm the head of global product development. Um, and we, as AHD, we are thinking in plug-in technology, in semi-plug-in technology, and therefore we think on the future. And we asked ourselves, semi-plug-in technology in the energy crisis? Because we have been asked if it's efficient or not. And I can clearly state out, and that's the end of our presentation, yes. Uh, if we go for energy crisis, we can clearly state out that it's efficient. Yeah? Not for all purpose. We also do have in our product portfolio CO2 solutions for bigger systems, for smaller systems. So we have everything on hands to do. But starting with SPI, and therefore we are here, uh, first explain since when we are in the refrigeration business. So since 1983, we are working on commercial refrigeration. And therefore... Uh, we are, as a group, oh, sorry, that was the wrong button. Uh, we are, as a group, working on four different uh, regions. Yeah. Um, um, basically, we are working in 15 countries. Uh, we are focusing our factories in Europe, in Asia, North America, and South America. Meanwhile, we do not have any factory in Africa, but maybe that will come. Uh, we do have a market share on 64% on plug-in units inside Europe, 33% on the global business. So I think we have uh, some experience to semi-plug-in also. Why? Because we started 12 years ago with, again, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> I have to do it a bit more upfront. Uh, so we have experience since more than 12 years. So we started uh, 2012 with the first systems on semi-plug-in, uh, already developing small refrigerant circuits inside our units. You are warm welcome to visit also our boot where you can see the last uh, units which we developed last year. And this year, Borea is quite a new product. Um, our complete portfolio is since a couple of years already in R290. So we are also shifting our factories uh, on Asia and North America and also South America to propane as a standard refrigerant. We have produced more than 6 million units. There of more than 2 million are already in R290. So also therefore we have a lot of experience. So with all the background information, I think it's time to speak on the semi plug in system. And we put here together a short video where you can see not only full plug in, is our heart beating. So we also see a dry cooler where we shift out the energy from the store to the outside. There we have multiple options. So you can see here our pump station, which you can also see in our boot, uh, including the dry cooler. You can see that we can connect cold rooms as well as all our equipment. So we have the full flexibility to use the energy also in the purpose of heat recovery. So you can immediately see we're using the full product portfolio of all of our sister companies to give here the full opportunities to have here building management systems onboarded, heating and cooling. If there is any uh, area where we could not provide with the heat rejection of the system enough capacity, we will add heat pumps also. And these heat pumps can provide then the sufficient heat. And heat pumps, as you know, most commonly used also for cooling. And therefore, we can also use these heat pumps then afterwards also for the total cooling of the store. So you have in hand a full bundle of possibilities, not only refrigeration. So in short, yeah, we can see here the, the heart beating yeah, on the cabinets and also cold rooms. But together with all the systems which we have on hand, we can build not only the refrigeration part, we can also build the total building management. And let's have a more detailed picture on it. 
So as we already have it on the boot, our new patent pending hydraulic module is the heart of the system. Then we adding the cold rooms and the refrigeration cabinets. Then we need a dry cooler, yeah, for sure. So that's the minimum what we have to do to run a full SPI concept. But in addition to that, we can add fan coils, as you already have seen. It could be concrete heating, it could be whatever you want. Basically, uh, if the temperatures are fine to use, then we're using also puffer tanks if we have to shift capacities inside to the system. So when it's not available on time, we shift it in a puffer tank and then we can use it later on. And also together with that, we do have the heat pumps possible uh, to use. That's not on the only heat pump which we are using. We are using multiple heat pumps, uh, also water to water systems, air to water systems, as you can see here, drying the water systems and such kind of things. And all of that is controlled by our own built monitoring system. So we do build our own facilitation of all the equipment which we have in use. That's good to have all in hand, also to optimize everything one by the other. So further benefits yeah, on the SPI system are clear. Yeah? So we have a high operation safety. Why? Because every single cabinet has their own circuits inbuilt. One, two or three circuits which are totally independent. So if you lose one, guess what? The rest is working. If you lose one total cabinet 375, the rest of the system is still working. But that's not often the case because we are factory built, so we are not brazing on site. So our leak rate is by far low than 1%. And compared to other systems, as you will see, we are the same efficiency as we declare or we are better. Further benefits on the SPI systems since we are using water-connected units, we are flexible. So we do not have to redo the whole refrigeration system by adding one single cabinet. We can add two or three cabinets if we want. We can replace them quite easily because it's only hydraulic work. It's fast in installation. So we have found out that the press system is the fastest way to install. So therefore, we can also prove overnight, switch over the weekend, switches, or if we have bigger stores for two weeks, that should be already a huge store. Yeah? Redundancy, lowest leakage rates on the market, refrigerant filling volumes we will see on the next slide. And since space is yeah, not cheap, we do not need any machinery room. We can close, place everything outside. No problem on that. There is outside space available. We use that. On the refrigerant side, we did a comparison. Yeah, what we compared, it's a comparison of 50 linear meters on standard stores, where we compared R134A, R513A as drop-in on R134A, then CO2 and our SPI R290 solution. And what we found, and that it's easy also to recalculate if you want, uh, with the leakage rates which are proven from LDCAF and also from uh, the IPCC full report, um, we have by far lower CO2 footprints. That's nice, I know. That's green, I know. But please keep in mind that there are service costs behind that. So if we are leaking at 1% on our 6.3 kilograms, you can imagine that something around about 1.6 gram a store, yeah? Calculate the costs for statistics, that's neglectable. <laughs> Calculate if you have around about 3.83% on distributed systems with a filling of 150 kilogram, that's much more, that's 5.8 kilogram. So here service costs are much lower. And we can prove that since we have these systems already more than 12 years on the market. So that's not only greenwashing, that's real benefits in your pocket. Yeah? Not only saying we are green, that's a real benefit. 
coming in hand with the more possibilities, with the more advantage, yeah, we do use the heat, which is there. We do have heat coming from our systems, from our cabinets, from our cold rooms, which are connected, and that we can use always. Since we are already on a water loop, yeah, we only have to lift the temperature to a certain extent that's possible to be efficient. If not, we will add a heat pump. In that case, a water-to-water -water heat pump. And you can immediately see that the efficiency, since we are using a two-step refrigerant circuit, is high. Yeah. And therefore, it's one of the most efficient ways to do heat recovery. Further advantage, and that's, in my opinion, one of the most important, is we run in a skill shortage. So that we have seen already over the past decades of years, skilled engineers are not to find that often. So we have to find a solution to bring a lot of markets for our customers, newly on the market, renew them. And if I compare our CO2 systems to our simple R290 system, guess what? It's much more simple to install an R290 water loop system than a CO2 system. We do not need even a refrigerant engineer to install the system. For service, it's a different story. There we need also skilled persons on flammable refrigerants, where we do not have fear since we are doing our own trainings for the service engineers on R290. So we already have, since 2002, R290 on work. So we have here also a lot of experience with R290 and the trainings which are needed. And therefore, we are also certifying our cool point partners. On top of that, as I already said, we are doing the whole system, including monitoring, including the concept phase, including everything. And also during maintenance and service, we can do that 24 seven. Yeah. With a reaction time on four hours, more or less everywhere in Europe. So feel free to test us if you want. So I think you will be positively surprised how powerful our service department is already. What is the future? So future seems to be we have to find new ways to, to think on the new regulations. But here it comes, we are already there. With R290, we do not have to rethink our systems. We are already compliant. We are already ready for FCAS. We are already ready for PFAS. Please feel free. Yeah. What I already said as introduction, what we compared, and that's why I'm standing here and I'm quite fast um, in explanations because it's that important for, for me personally uh, to have a, given you a picture. Yeah. Since always I have been asked Andreas, do you have a comparison on real daters? And we found a customer and the customer was willing to provide us his comparison on two stores. They are placed in Germany, both the same owner, 10 kilometers away from each other, so the same climate, more or less, and the same equipment is there. One was done from our side in R290 and SPI technology, and the other was in CO2 from a competitor. So we have 60 linear meters, unrefrigerated shelving, free some freezers, some overhanging, and cold rooms, and so on. What we was wondering, when we got the data first, we didn't believe. Why? Because it was more than we expected. So that are real data day by day, yeah, and we would say we could achieve at least 30% energy savings compared to the existing CO2 system. And to be honest, we did not have chance to optimize our system that's as built. So that's self-optimizing. So we do have a self-adjusting system on the hydraulics. So therefore, it's already optimized. And that's why from the factory, it's all running in that shape. So what's next? Yeah, we already have on our boot the Vento system in CO2. 
uh, that we also developed this year. We developed this year also the next generation Vento SPI. That's the so-called Borea. That's also on our boot. And you're warmly welcomed on 3 p.m. We will have the lift of our red carpet, which is built on our new unit, on the new uh, plug in unit, which we will present first time ever. Uh, the name I can already give to you, it's the Kigali XL, and we will show it to you first time ever. So thank you. If there are any questions, I'm here to answer later also. And I hope SPI could be also for you one of our futures. Thank you.